welcome back everyone to another video and i i've been posting a bunch of stuff regarding running dos based stuff or windows based stuff on the 486 cpu on the fpga emulated 486 cpu and i haven't been able to get linux running so far uh, but it's running right now and it's running fine um, there were some issues which we'll talk about later but first let's go ahead reboot it and see how it boots up and see how it looks so of course we need to be sudo and once that's done it starts to reboot and I actually have to manually reboot it because there's no power management here so let's go and see at the kernel um, parameters so it's uh, kernel command line so it's mostly just disabling so the no, no 387 it had disables the force disables the math coprocessor which we do not have uh, so that's good and then no fxsr and rtc rtc is for um, real time clock fxsr i'm not sure what that's for so again let's go ahead and boot it so there you go so it's it's loaded the kernel image into memory it's loaded the uh, in a drum disk and in a few seconds it should start to decompress the linux kernel and it should take some time there so what happened and how i got this to work was basically the uh, the fpg implementation for 486 was missing the cr4 register uh, which is basically there to uh, kind of take control of a few things related to the virtualization of 8086 um, architecture and as you can see the Linux kernel has now started to boot but that takes care of a few of the 8086 stuff uh, virtualization stuff so it's the initial implementation of what we now call the Intel VTX or the hardware virtualization uh, and we are not using that so we can disable that so the, the way to do it properly uh, because Linux kernel kind of hard implements it is to um, disable from source and just remove uh, any kind of implementation that there is so you need to add some patches and luckily there was a chap named arc labo on github who ended up doing that so i'm just using his kernel patches and his config so you just do that and enable math emulation uh, in the kernel kernel config while you are at it and that gives you a bootable linux kernel on the ao486 so here you can see we have already booted up fine and now you can actually go ahead and run stuff like you name a works fine uh, here's the cat uh, and for cpu info and you can see it's uh, ao486 there's no fpu uh, and it's all 32 bits and bogomips is around 16 uh, if that kind of matters I guess apart from that the uh, funny thing if in any modern machine you run top it's going to take at like 5-10% of your CPU but watch what here happens here if I run top the CPU usage goes to a uh, just 100% like 99.9 so right now it's time sharing with a few other applications so it's it shows at 12 percent but if you take a look at the uh, second row uh, it's almost 99 percent still so yeah um that's 486 running linux i guess uh, and the surprising thing is that this is not even that old of a linux kernel it's from 2013 or 2012 this is 3.8 um, and the 486 CPU is from I think 1989 so yeah it's, it's got a long support stuff going for it but the other thing is uh, that if you want to run any modern OS like Debian or Fedora they have dropped support for 486 especially the 486 without FPU uh, in, for a long time and Debian actually stopped supporting it uh, at around Debian 3.0 which was running Linux kernel 2.6 so the kernel still had support the OS dropped it so yeah uh, running a modern Linux is sadly not a huge possibility at the moment on this system 
uh, especially if you don't have for FPU and you have to kind of disable a bunch of stuff and on the Linux kernel and do things. So I thought, all right, my, let's just boot a much recent version of the Linux kernel. So for that 14 seemed fine, still supported for it six, but there's still a catch. If you look into the menu config help section, you will find out that it sadly doesn't support for it six SX. So that's without the FPU. So even if you enable math emulation, um, yeah, it's, it's still going to panic that there is no math processor or there needs to be math emulation although you did enable it and you did pass the current config for um, for booting it that way so yeah it's kind of in a dicey situation especially with this um, special uh, 486 implementation on the FPGA maybe a recent more much more recent version of 486 like DX1 DX2 uh, up to dx4 should work just fine with the modern linux kernel but not this one uh, and that's about it if you want to try it out on your own i'll have the link to the frix uh, github repository in the description and until that let's just see it boot one more time so